high pressure cleaners simplify cleaning work in many different areas. This film describes the most important applications in car dealerships and workshops, agriculture and the food industry. In addition, we look at special applications such as phosphating and using high pressure cleaners in the intake mode. For vehicle cleaning, hot water high pressure cleaners are used in most cases. Hard water containing lime causes scale buildup when it's heated. In order to avoid this happening, the electronic control of a Kersha HDS adds RM110 liquid water softener to the water. Water hardness is determined as follows. Measure off 5 milliliters of water. Add one drop of indicator fluid. Slowly add titrating solution until the color changes from red to green. The water hardness can now be read off the scale. In this example, it is 16 degrees German hardness. The Kesha service technician can now set the liquid water softener feed rate on the high pressure cleaner's electronic control. The dosage is preset at the factory for a water hardness of 25 degrees. The large built in fuel tank has to be filled with heating oil, diesel, or biodiesel before starting the hot water high pressure cleaner. Similarly, the tanks for liquid water softener and detergent also have to be filled. In our example of car washing using the two-step method, tank 1, Chem 1, is filled with undiluted RM81. Tank 2, Chem 2, with a hot wax solution consisting of one part hot wax to three parts water. This dilution improves the accuracy of dosing small quantities and helps minimize consumption. On three phase machines, it's necessary to check the direction of rotation of the motor to ensure correct operation of the burner. You hold your hand carefully above the flue to check the exhaust airflow and thus confirm that the direction of rotation is correct. If necessary, change the direction of rotation on the pole reversing plug. Car body washing can be performed using one of three different methods. The two-step method with detergent, the two-step method with foam and the one-step method. Stubborn soiling and stains such as insects or brake dust are pre-sprayed with suitable detergents. The vehicle is sprayed with a 3-4% solution of detergent from the bottom upwards to avoid streaks being caused by the detergent running down the vehicle. Never allow detergent to dry on the vehicle. The metering controller can be turned back just before the whole vehicle has been sprayed. After allowing a short period for the detergent to act, clean the vehicle from the bottom upwards with hot water using the high pressure fan jet. Make sure you always keep the nozzle at the same distance from the surface. In the case of sensitive components such as window seals, it's necessary to considerably increase the distance between the nozzle and surface. Finish off by rinsing the vehicle with fresh water from the top downwards. The advantage of foam detergent is that it adheres to the surface for longer and therefore has a better dirt dissolving effect. Using the Easy or Inno foam set, 
the foam detergent is applied to the vehicle from the bottom upwards. Simply change over and wash down the vehicle thoroughly with the high pressure fan jet. This is the most effective method of cleaning. In the one-step method, the detergent is not used at full strength, but in a concentration of 0.5%, that's to say, diluted with three parts water. The controller is set to two in this case. The vehicle is washed systematically from the bottom upwards with detergent in the hot water high pressure jet. Washing brushes can also be used for removing stubborn dirt and stains. The rotating washing brush with natural bristles greatly simplifies the mechanical work. The high pressure jet drives the brush. The vehicle is then rinsed from the top downwards using only fresh water, no detergent. Cleaning is fastest with this method. Applying hot wax in a dilution of about 0.5% at 60 to 80 degrees breaks down the film of water on the cleaned vehicle and allows it to run off. A protective coating of wax remains. Excess wax can be rinsed away with cold fresh water using reduced pressure. Engine washes are a standard procedure in automotive workshops to simplify the location of leaks on engines and create more pleasant working conditions. Only low pressure may be used in the engine compartment to avoid any risk of damage. Pressure is reduced either on the cleaner's cylinder head or on the servo controller. Detergent and heat greatly enhance cleaning efficiency. The wastewater that occurs must be routed through an oil separator or a suitable wastewater recycling plant in order to avoid pollution. The engine compartment is then rinsed with fresh water at low pressure. If a Kersha power nozzle is used, a greater distance must be maintained. The aggressive layers of salt used for clearing winter roads should be regularly rinsed away from the underbody and sills in order to maintain the value of vehicles. The underbody spray lance equipped with a 40 degree fan jet is used for this job. It provides a broad jet which is operated at a reduced pressure to quickly clean the underbody without harming the surface. Oil and grease stains on workshop floors represent an accident risk for staff. These stains can be rapidly removed with the hard surface cleaner because the distance between its rotating power nozzles and the floor is always constant and guarantees a uniform finish. Even heavy oil stains can be easily removed without splashing walls and equipment 
by using suitable alkaline cleaning agents and hot water at up to 85 degrees Celsius. In agriculture, mostly cold water high pressure cleaners are used. The Kasha HD Super Class features a water cooled motor which raises the temperature of the feed water slightly in the low pressure mode. The large built in water filter protects the high pressure pump from impurities. Vehicles and machines but stalls, too, are usually cleaned without detergents. Tractor cleaning is therefore performed from the top downwards. Sensitive components such as tires or window seals are cleaned at reduced pressure in order to avoid damage. Applying a spray wax at low pressure after cleaning helps protect and preserve tractors and machines. This is recommended before the onset of winter in particular. Cleaning animals is particularly important for the farmer when new animals are put in the stalls. The water-cooled motor in the most powerful cold water high pressure cleaner heats the water a little for cleaning pigs and cows for example. The animals are happiest when they're rinsed down carefully with the wide fan jet nozzle in the low pressure mode. A clean and disinfected stall helps prevent disease and animal sicknesses. After manually clearing away loose dirt, the stall is sprayed at low pressure with generous quantities of water to soak the sticky dirt. A Kesha power nozzle gives the user 40% more impact pressure than conventional nozzles. The triple nozzle with its flick of the wrist changeover from a fan jet to a solid pencil jet is ideal for cleaning joints and edges. Usually the large wall and floor areas, but also the stall gates, are cleaned with the Dirt Blaster rotary nozzle. On large floor areas, the hard surface cleaner can also be used to accelerate the cleaning process. The valve on the hard surface cleaner allows cleaning agents to be applied in the low pressure mode. The question as to what cleaning agents are used, or whether they are used at all, depends on what happens to the manure later. Farmers often prefer not to use cleaning agents.
The stall must have dried out properly before disinfection is carried out to avoid any dilution of the disinfectant. The dosage is very important as far as the success of disinfection is concerned. For this reason, the high pressure cleaner must be gauged in litres beforehand. That is, the ratio of disinfectant to the amount of water picked up must be determined exactly. This is done as follows. Set the detergent valve to 3, for example. In the low pressure mode, pick up cleaning agent from a measuring beaker for one minute. Note the cleaning agent consumed in relation to the water consumption. The high pressure cleaner in our example has a water consumption of 16.6 liters per minute and picks up 400 milliliters of cleaning agent per minute. That's equivalent to a concentration of 2.4%. The dried surface is now sprayed with a minimum of 0.4 liters of disinfecting solution per square meter. A certain reaction time is specified for every concentration and it's essential that it be maintained exactly. Kersha disinfection cleaners can also be applied as foam. Rusted metal components can be treated and cleaned with the wet blasting attachment. It's also possible to remove old coatings of paint. A special intake nozzle adds abrasive to the high pressure water jet. It impacts the surface to be cleaned at high velocity and removes paint or rust in the process. For health reasons, quartz sand must not be used for these operations. Kersha stocks a range of suitable abrasives. The surface must then be dried quickly and resealed. The small hard surface cleaner can also be used for cleaning vertical surfaces. As a rule, the dirty water that occurs during facade cleaning must not be allowed to flow into rainwater drains, but has to be treated separately in accordance with local regulations. With a continuous discharge vacuum cleaner, the dirty water can be collected directly at the hard surface cleaner and immediately pumped away for proper disposal. The advantage of this method is that water containing harmful substances cannot get into the public drains or the surrounding soil. Hygienic conditions are of paramount importance in food processing companies in particular such as here in this butcher's shop. Such facilities have to be cleaned thoroughly every day. Stationary high-pressure cleaning systems are used in many cases to provide takeoff points for high-pressure water at different locations. Step 1. Clean the surface with high pressure at a maximum of 60 degrees Celsius to remove coarse meat particles. Step 2. Clean with foam to soften the dirt. Using the Inno foam set, foam is produced with a maximum detergent feed of only 5%. Detergent can be added easily with the aid of an injector at the takeoff point. The foam layer should remain on the surfaces, fixtures and fittings for at least 30 minutes. Detergent feed at the injector is stopped automatically when the operator changes over to high pressure jet. Step 3. Clean the surfaces with medium pressure from the ground up using fresh water only. Step 4. Rinse the surfaces without splashing dirt back onto the cleaned areas. After drying, disinfect. Allow enough time for the disinfectant to react. Disinfectants must be rinsed off thoroughly. 
mobile high-pressure cleaners may be used as an alternative to stationary high-pressure cleaning systems. The high-pressure nozzle can be connected directly to the trigger gun for cleaning those awkward areas that are difficult to reach. Caution! Observe all applicable safety regulations. Even the most stubborn stains, such as those seen here in the smoking chamber, can be cleaned quickly and effectively with the Inno foam set. The cleaning sequence, that's to say from the bottom upwards, allows the foam at the top to act for longer without the foam solution being diluted. The surface is then rinsed with fresh water from the top downwards. The hard surface cleaner is also connected to the high pressure system and cleans floors uniformly and thoroughly without splashing walls and equipment. The cargo space of transport vehicles for foods generally has water-resistant floor and wall coatings. Stains can therefore be cleaned as in food processing plants with foam and high pressure. The small hard surface cleaner is highly effective here since it maintains a constant clearance between the rotating nozzles and the surface. Iron components have to be degreased before they can be painted. Thin film phosphating is often performed to improve the adhesion of paint or powder coatings. Paint adheres better to a phosphated surface than to an untreated surface. Second advantage, corrosion hardly spreads from a damaged point. On a test sheet, it advanced no more than 5 mm within 500 hours in a salt mist. The cleaning agent concentration for phosphating is approximately 0.5 to 1%. It's important to determine the pH value of the cleaning solution. It should be in the range 4.5 to 5 in order to achieve an optimum phosphating process. The metal workpiece is now cleaned slowly from the bottom upwards with a phosphating solution heated to 140 degrees Celsius. It's important that the metal workpiece heats up sufficiently during this process. The back of the workpiece should be treated at the same time. Phosphating with the Kersha hot water high pressure cleaner has the advantage that any oil or grease stains still on the metal surface are washed away during the phosphating process. The workpiece is then rinsed with hot water preferably low in lime or demineralized. Compared to an untreated workpiece, the phosphated workpiece has a bluish-gray coating. The very good wetting property, tested here with distilled water, confirms the success of phosphating. Petrol or diesel-powered high-pressure cleaners are available for operation in areas where there's no convenient electricity supply. 
Observe the following points when operating with water from open sources such as lakes or rivers. The suction hose must be filled with water and screwed airtight to the machine before starting work. A fine mesh filter is needed on the machine's water inlet to avoid dirt damaging the pump. The coarse dirt filter with non-return valve is suspended in the water so that it does not rest on the bottom. The pump has to be vented before connecting the high pressure hose. Electric high pressure cleaners can of course also pick up water from outside sources. Generally speaking, the height difference between the surface of the water and the machine must not exceed one meter in the suction mode. Moss and lichen growing on tiled roofs cause lasting damage and are one of the possible reasons for leaks. Cleaning is performed from the top downwards. To avoid damage to the roof structure, water should not be sprayed under the tiles. The operator must use suitable fall protection equipment. It's essential to observe all applicable safety precautions and regulations. Downpipes must be covered to prevent them being blocked by dislodged moss. The roof should be cleaned only on warm days to ensure it dries adequately after the work is completed.